744 approaching 745 in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, World Glaucoma Week uh, began yesterday and will conclude on Saturday. Glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness and uh, undetected and untreated glaucoma can lead to permanent loss of vision. Well, we're joined now by three representatives from uh, the optometric op Optometric company uh, visualized based in Curep to tell us more about the risks associated with glaucoma and the importance of early screening. Uh, we're joined uh, by Foladi Sandy, who is uh, an optometrist, uh, the lady in the middle, and we also have two optometry interns in Alisa Budu, the lady uh, furthest away, and we also have with us Sophia Hassanali, uh, who is uh, an intern as well, to give us some more information. Very good morning to you all. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Uh, thanks Islam. thanks uh, for, for joining us. Uh, if, if I could could, could find out from uh, the optometrist Faladi Sandy exactly when we talk about glaucoma what specifically are we speaking about now glaucoma describes a group of diseases that affect the optic nerve of the eyes and the optic nerve is the nerve that connects the eye to the brain basically and without that we won't have the messages running through so glaucoma after time it can cause permanent vision loss it's something that is very easily undiagnosed um it's very easily um taken for granted because persons would not get any symptoms in early stages usually um you can have glaucoma for several years without having any symptoms um however when you do start seeing symptoms it can be too late and yeah. and in that context uh, so sophia hasanali uh, are there any warning signs are there any risk groups diabetics, what are people who suffer from hypertension, are there any specific risk groups who should be mindful as we talk about this World Glaucoma Week, who should be aware of any information that might be available uh, in relation to their susceptibility to glaucoma? Well, actually, the um, people of Caribbean descent, being Indian and African mix, um, we're actually four times more susceptible to glaucoma than people of European descent. So that in itself means that we should all get screened. Anyone over the age of 40, especially anyone with any family history of glaucoma, needs to be screened. Because glaucoma is something that affects the peripheral vision loss. So when you, you don't really notice this loss of vision until it reaches the central vision, and then it's too late, as Miss Sandy mentioned. So everybody over the age of 40 should be screened. But, but uh, Alisa Budu, is, is that happening? Do people say, well, you know, I mean, th that is not a priority. Testing for glaucoma is, is not the first thing that I think of when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> but uh, what, 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 uh, what is, should be happening to make people, from, from your perspective, more aware of, of, of the need to be tested? Well, for sure, a lot of people should have more comprehensive eye exams. And that's what most of the optometry places, especially at Visualize, that's what we offer. You have a wide variety of tests. These helps in the screen and process of glaucoma. So tests such as looking at the health of the back of the eye. This is done in a routine eye exam. For the testing, OCT, this gives us a breakdown of the tissue at the back of the eye. Then there's other tests to take pressures of the eye. So the main thing, we need the pressures of the eye to be under control. This is one of the most significant findings with glaucoma patients. And, and by the way, if you want more information about uh, Visualize, you can call 662-EYES, most appropriately, of course, 662-EYES, <laughs> 662-3937, that's 662-3937. Is there a website and an email address for the company as well? No, but you can look, up, look us up on Facebook. Mm. We do have a page, right. Visualize. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, l let's talk about this testing uh, thing. Um, how how easily can it be done? Because I finally changed my glasses after eleven <laughs> years, and I didn't have a test between two thousand and five oh, wow. until um, until a month wow. ago. Um, <laughs> thankfully, there's no sign of anything. But mm. that's my laziness. If there was something substantial, <laughs> it would be my fault. Um, uh, for Ladi Sandy, uh, why would you say people might say, "Well, that's not a priority for for because they, I have to test for this, that, and the other," but testing is in that sense is not a priority what would you say to those no i would want everyone to imagine going blind okay if you want to close your eyes for about 10 minutes and try to walk around the house or do tasks it's something that a lot of us don't um pay attention to we will take for granted until it happens um having an eye examination in this day and age is very easy now um, i know it's recession everyone is looking at their pockets but even if you take away getting glasses 
all of those things just have the eye examination done every year or every two years according to what is recommended by your professional and with that we'll be able to detect glaucoma as early as possible because the thing with glaucoma is there's no cure for it but we can prevent blindness once it is detected early enough. Okay? Uh, and Sophia Hassan, this being World Glaucoma Week, is there anything happening specifically at Visualize or, or, or generally to heighten awareness, to provide more information? What, what is happening in that sense? Well, at Visualize, even though it's World Glaucoma Week, we give people the entire month. So for the entire month of March, we have 20% off of all of the glaucoma detection tests. Now that includes, as Ms. Boodoo mentioned, the, um, the OCT and the visual field test. Now the OCT I'd like to mention, that's um, one of our pride and joys at Visualize because we're one of the few optometric offices in Trinidad that actually have an OCT where we can look in the back of the eye and measure the tissues, measure the health of the nerve. Um, we also measure the thickness of the cornea, which is the outside part of the eye, which affects the pressure. We also look at the angles of drainage in the back of the eye. So all of these tests, there's actually six tests that are really used to diagnose glaucoma. And all of them we're offering at 20% off. Now the actual eye exam itself encompasses most of it. So you don't have to worry, you know, it's six different prices. Um, so it's 20% off of all those tests. And we'd like everyone to know that getting an eye exam isn't just for glasses. You know, it's, it's mostly about checking the health of the eye because even though glaucoma is one of the biggest problems, you might not have glaucoma, but even diabetics and um, hypertension patients, patients that have high pressure in their whole body, um, they're at risk for bleeding and swelling in the back of the eye. You might be having good vision, your vision might be great, not a problem, you could read, you could write, not a problem, but if there's bleeding and swelling in the back of the eye, you really want to get that checked. And uh, Alyssa Budu, is it that we more or less take our sight for granted? Is it that, that everybody feels, well, you know, there's no need to test it because I've seen anyway, as I see in this show right now, I've seen these three <laughs> people on the thing, and there's nothing to test for. Is it that people have become complacent to a certain degree and, and don't feel there's a need uh, for their eyes to be tested? Yes, I would completely agree with that. We have a lot of patients, Sophia and I being students, we see patients that they, are complete, they have complete vision loss sometimes and they take so long to even check, get an eye exam to do anything about it. You sh people should do what Miss Sandy said. They should close their eyes, try to imagine a world where there's complete darkness around them because glaucoma is a silent thief. Yeah, and and in, in, I mean, it seems so obvious that you'd value your sight uh, for, for Ladis Sandy, but uh, mm -hmm. from your experience, has, has World Glaucoma Week, has, has there been, or, or even any other initiatives, has, have you seen any greater sense, sense of awareness in the wider population? Are more people coming in for testing and so on? Yes, they have um, in my experience. However, we still have a lot more work to do. Um, we have few studies um, directed at the Caribbean for glaucoma. One of these studies are the Barbados Eye Study itself. And it said that approximately 50% 50, 50 of persons did not know they had a certain type of glaucoma. So with those type of statistics, we really need to work on it. Right, right now, we don't have any results as yet from of any of the Trinidad-related studies. But if we are comparing the values, we can see that we do have to educate the people around us because it's a strain of, on our families, a strain on the resources of the nation itself. Indeed it is. Well, time has run out and it's uh, unfortunate, but let's remind everybody again, we're talking about World Glaucoma Week and you can get more information uh, on testing and uh, all that is available at the Visualize called 662-3937, that's 662-EYES, and you can also see, uh, get them on uh, their Facebook page. And if you can't see it clearly on the Facebook page, go by them as quickly as possible and they'll try to, <laughs> to assist you as best as they can. Time for the news and then I'll be back to wrap up the program.